For this technical corner, we're going to be discussing the new Contura with mass technology from SOIS. And I'm joined by David. Welcome. Good morning, Gio. Now, this is a very exciting new product from SOIS that you've recently launched. Tell me all about it, please. As you said, it's been recently launched. It was launched at Control 2019, which was only a few weeks ago. It's a replacement to the outgoing Contura. Um, it's been redeveloped and designed from the ground up using new technologies and new materials never found within Siemens before. It comes with the mass technology, which we can go into a little bit later. Mass technology giving it the ability to not only hold tactile sensors, but also non-contact sensors of different types. Now, actually, let's start with the mass technology. What does this mean? <coughs> well, mass and the, the theory behind it has been around and available for machines within the Zeiss range in the upper portion of the Zeiss range but it's now available on the Contura. It stands for Multi-Application Sensor System. What that gives it the ability to do mid-program is change from a tactile sensor to let's say a dock scan sensor, which is the chromatic white light source. And if, then, if, if the application requires it to then move over to a laser scanning system, then the dot scan could be put back in an automated rack and the line scan could be picked up and the measurement can continue without there being any stoppages improving efficiency. So ultimately, David, is this giving you ultimate versatility? One of the beauties of the Contura system, above and beyond anything else that we, we know of in, in, in the CMM range of, of, of offered by other vendors, is that when a customer comes to look at purchasing a Contura system, then they're not governed by which system do we have to buy because it has so much versatility and flexibility whereby it future-proofs that they can make their decision with confidence that moving further down the line for any unforeseen issues that they may approach them in the, in the future, the Contura can accommodate those accordingly. Now, it also comes with a rotary table. I've just noticed a rotary table on this video that we have. Does that even further advance the capabilities of this product? Exactly. We're having the fourth axis added at a machine at this level. It doesn't impede the accuracy in any way, shape or form. It's a fully integrated rotary table. It's not just a positioning device, so you can use it as, as a means of bringing the machines into a stationary contact point on the component and rotating the, the rotary table accordingly. It, as you said, adds to the versatility. It also has a maximum loading weight of over, what, over 100 kilograms. Now, do they come in different sizes? Yes, they come in multiple sizes, the Contour. Now, they've been designed from the ground up, you mentioned. You know, what new uh, design aspects of the new Contour can you tell us about today? Because it's a new product, there's a lot of IP infringement in there, so I can't give you too many details today. But needless to say, the new bearing technology that's being used is unlike any bearing technology that's been used on any of the CMM previously. And we have something called DLC, which is a coating that we use on all of the bearing surfaces. DLC stands for diamond light coating. The diamond light coating coupled to the new bearing configuration adds to the robustness and the reliability of the system moving forward. And what about the ergonomics of this product? This has been all redesigned also. So I've read some literature on the product in regards to the footprint remaining pretty much the same, mm -hmm. but the working area uh, increasing. That's correct. Uh, if we look at the outgoing system, uh, one of the outgoing systems had an X measurement volume of 900 millimeters um, that had a particular footprint size. If you now look at the new Contoura, the equivalent Contoura, but having a, a, an X measurement volume of 1200 millimeters, you've got an additional 300 millimeters of measuring volume, but the actual footprint of the machine, when compared to the old system, has only increased by 18 millimeters. That's one eight. That's just unbelievable, really. And th this also incorporates the automated pro probing rack? That's correct. <clears throat> so we don't have any issues with regards to impeaching in the actual all important measuring volume. We have something called the Promax E, which bolts to the back of the system. It's fully integrated into the controller, fully integrated into the control software, which is Calypso. This has the ability to actually move the probe configurations into the measuring volume, very similar to that of a machine tool. The machine would then go and pick the relevant probe up, then come back into the measuring volume workspace to continue with the measurement. You mentioned Calypso. Is it powered and uh, ran through Calypso? All of our bridge type measuring machines and all of our non-bridge type measuring machines as well, including CT and so on and so forth, are all run by our, our intrinsic platform, which is the Calypso software. Now, you know, what's the accuracy of the new Contoura? The MPE E value of the smallest Contoura starts at 1.5 microns. So the accuracy 
you know, would lend itself to pretty much any application, in my opinion. But Sorry. what about the scanning speed and performance? Because of the new materials, new bearing configuration, and the new design coming from the ground up, what it's enabled us to do as a business is increase productivity and throughput. The way we've done that is by uh, implementing new new scanning technology, which now takes the maximum speed scanning speed depending on application up to 150 millimeters a second. And as part of the overall vast performance package, we also have something called fly mode, which is inbuilt into the, the controller, something that was only available in machines in, in the upper echelons of our range. That enables the system not to move tangentially like this or in straight lines, it actually arcs around the part. And again, dependent on the application can give you up to 30% time saving moving around the, the actual a component that you're trying to measure. So again, both the improved scanning speeds and the way it navigates itself around the part also hand itself to, to improve in productivity and efficiencies. With all this versatility that you get from a measuring system such mm -hmm. as this, yeah. if I was Mr. End user, mm -hmm. why would I be looking at any other CNN? That's a very good point to make. If you're a, a, a potential customer in, in, the, in the realms of looking for a machine of this type, with this flexibility, with that type of accuracy, then why would you look anywhere else? David, thank you. Thank you very much.